Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the KDE Plasma Desktop version 5.21. Now there's something I'm going to have to get out of the way first, and that is it's not going to be on real hardware. Unfortunately, it looks like the Kubuntu Backports repository is abandoned. And that means I can't just upgrade Kubuntu and hope to get this desktop on here. No, I'm either going to have to install an alpha release, or is it even alpha at the moment, for Kubuntu 21.04. Uh, probably not, so it does mean something like KDE Neon. Now there's a reason I moved away from KDE Neon, and that is because the file searcher broke on one of the updates. And I have to say, it's not very useful when file searcher breaks, because that is one of the reasons I love the KDE desktop. It's a very responsive application launcher, which does include the file searching abilities. And talking about the application launcher, that is where one of the key differences is. There's this whole new layout for the kickoff launcher. So we've got a switcher at the top for applications and places. You've got a shutdown menu there at the top. And if you hover over your name, it tells you the system and presumably the distribution, although that's cut off there. As always, you've got a searcher there and you've got the configuration. I have to say it's a bit more responsive than the old kickoff launcher was. Yeah, there's no clicking around here. I'm just literally hovering over things. Yeah, I have to say I quite like that. And in terms of searching for documents, yep, coming up straight away. Uh, there is a new feature I have noticed here, and this is it offers a software installation. So if you happen to type in the name of an application, it offers to get it for you. Installation is carried out using the Discover Software Center. And you can even be a little bit vague on the naming, so I've not even completed typing Solitaire and it's brought up a couple of Solitaire games, although that is the KDE apps. So perhaps if I was to try a GNOME application, then no such luck there. So this is aimed specifically at KDE apps. As far as I'm aware, it only works in the kickoff launcher, not any of the other launchers. Another nice new feature is the system monitor. Not K Syscard though. I wonder if they're going to retire this at some point, or in fact I wonder if it uh, should be removed now from KDE Neon, because this was an upgrade, not a new install. The system monitor offers a very nice graphical improvement here. It's got these little pie charts that appeared as a widget. Ooh, when was that? The 5.19 or 5.18 desktop? Mm, can't remember now, but yeah, it did appear as a widget. The resource utilization per application, well, that's just the applications I have open here. And it's quite a nice view because it is splitting out from all processes. So yeah, much more simplified in that respect. Admittedly, this part here, the history is broken in VirtualBox, but yeah, there should be a graph appearing here on the screen, just like there was in K Syscard. Now to show an improved feature on the media player applet. So if you have multiple media sources open or playing audio, you can control them from here. And it's slightly larger now on that view with the thumbnails, so yeah, you get a slightly clearer view. So that is a nice feature, control over multiple media sources. Now onto the system settings, and one of my favorite features isn't really boasted about on the change logs. Highlight change settings. This has to be a brilliant feature for distro hoppers. So if you want to recreate your desktop, in a different distribution. And incidentally, the new theme there is Breeze Twilight. Although it's very reminiscent of the theme used in Kubuntu, it's a mixture of the Breeze Dark and the Breeze Light themes, or I should say just the Breeze Dark and Breeze themes. So yeah, it highlights the changes that you've made. And these were the changes that I made on that uh, video I did of the settings I changed on my KDE desktop. So yeah, it's brilliant, they're all highlighted here, so you can just easily write these things down. I absolutely love that feature, it just, yeah, so helpful. But looking at some of the other newer features, there's now a firewall manager here, and it's controlling the underlying firewall, which in the case of the Ubuntu-based distributions is the uncomplicated firewall, UFW. You can also look at the open connections and any logs. And that's a look at adding the rules. There's been a layout change in a couple of the settings here. So the login screen buttons now down the bottom for this, rather than having, I think it was a split view in the previous version. 
and under accessibility, the layout has been cleaned up a bit here, made towards the standard it looks like the KDE developers are going for here with the vertical tabs, rather than the previous version which had the horizontal tabs. Although we can see that the window management has not been done yet, so I expect that will be done in a future version. There's been a few improvements with Wayland, in particular with support now for mixed refresh rate displays. They give the example of supporting one display with 144 hertz and another one with 60 hertz. And there's also preliminary support for multiple GPUs. Oh, and finally, there's a nice new wallpaper. Well, that was a look at the improvements in the new version of the KDE Plasma 5.21 desktop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.